man has made a name for himself by turning old industrial parts into incredible works of art. The story of how Vala Simpson became an internationally known folk artist in this week's People in Places with Pierce. Take a drive through historic downtown Wilson and you may notice something a little unusual, a little whimsical and plenty of extraordinary. Whirligig is sort of just a general term used for things uh, that move in the wind like this. Paula Simpson got started on the whirly gigs when he was 65 years old. He lived in Lukama most of his life. He just collected stuff. He said, I wanted to do something with my hands. He'd start building them and then start imagining, you know, what else he could do to them. And he eventually started putting, up in, putting them up in the field across from his workshop. Wallace did call them windmills. It was other people around Wilson who started to call them whirly gigs and it sort of stuck. No matter what you call them, they've quickly become iconic. They came, became a, a roadside attraction. He sort of became accidentally famous. A lot of people thought he was a crazy old man. The things that he thought of in his dreams. So he would dream them, he would wake up, he would make them. He never intended his whirly gigs to go anywhere but be right there on his farm. When Vallis got into his late 80s and early 90s, he realized that um, he wasn't able to take care of them. So the city of Wilson came up with a plan. In about 2009, to revitalize downtown, the idea to build sort of a central park, if you will, in Wilson and have them populated by Vala Simpson's whirligigs. He realized that uh, he wasn't going to live forever, and if something wasn't done, his whirligigs certainly weren't going to live forever. So he finally reconciled himself that that might be a good idea. The years did eventually catch up with Volus. He passed away in 2013 at the age of 94. 25 to 30 years exposed to the elements have really taken their toll on Volus's pieces. Many are rusted and paint chipping off them. So the real hard work to restore these masterpieces to their former glory happens here at the Whirligig Conservation Headquarters. They have taken a lot of work to get them back to the original state that they're intended to be in. He loved to see what we were doing. When we'd finish a section and it'd be all bright and shiny again, and he'd say, spin it for me, spin it for me, and it would start whirling like it originally had. He said, man, he said, I like that. Our park will have 30 of his pieces. I think Vallis would, he'd, he'd take his chair out there and he'd sit and he'd, he'd uh, wonder at the whirly gigs that he created and be very pleased. The father, husband, neighbor, and friend is now at the center of a movement even he couldn't have dreamed of. In Wilson, Wilson County, Pierce Legion, not on your side. The park is expected to be completed in time for Wilson's annual Whirly Gig Festival in November. Pierce is always looking for unique people and places to visit right here in the East. If you have an idea, send him an email or connect with him on social media.